Right, I tell you there, champs. Now today I'm gonna explain what Optane is and why you need it, why you want it, and why it's the best. Now let's just talk a bit about Optane, and I'll tell you where it can be used because in a laptop like this, it can be used in three different ways, and the Optane module is actually there. I'll just show you what an Optane module looks like over here. This is an Optane module, and it is placed underneath that heat shield there or protection shield. That's what Optane is. You can have various forms of Optane. You can have ones that plug into your PCI slot. But for today, we're gonna to concentrate on laptops and why you might want this. First of all, I'm just gonna talk about Optane. I'm not gonna get into technical specs or whatever because there's been a lot of videos on Optane that frankly are just confusing people even more, even the sponsored videos. Like a lot of people have no idea what Optane is, why it's good, Let's try and do it. Anyway, so Optane is the best SSD or best storage we have on the planet for sure, 100%. If everything could be Optane, I would be very happy. If all my SSDs were Optane, I'll be happy. If all my laptops have Optane, my PC builds, I would be a very happy man. Now it can be used in the case of this laptop for three things. One, to boost memory. Two, to be used as a primary drive for your windows, etc. And three, to boost that hard drive, that old slow hard drive, to boost that up to SSD feeling like speed. Now why Optane is the best is you might look at say some sync, some drive and think, well, it's got a couple hundred megabytes, random reads and writes faster. But that doesn't matter. This thing here, Optane, is the closest thing we have to RAM, okay? The responsiveness is like five times faster or something like that. Its latency and responsiveness is more like RAM than it is NAND flash. Now, NAND flash is like, oh, that's been around since, I think, the 80s, I think they had NAND flash. So it's old technology. This Optane technology is new and is by far the best. The only downside to Optane is it's expensive and you pay for the best and I wish it was less expensive because I would put Optane in everything 100% but yeah, you pay for the best, you want the best, you pay for it. Hopefully it comes down. So when it comes to like low Q depth, you know, 4K reads and writes, nothing can touch Optane, okay? So the Samsung might be faster than just random reads and writes but that doesn't matter. For everyday use, you're gonna be using low Q depth, you're gonna be using 4K, you're gonna be using small files, and if you have Optane, you're gonna have a much more snappier system. It's gonna respond quicker, things are gonna load quicker. It's just gonna be much snappier than a NAND-based SSD system. That's why Optane can actually be used to supplement RAM, because its latencies are so low and it's so responsive. So let's talk about this system now. It is possible in this laptop that you could put an Optane module, obviously bigger than 32 gigs, but a larger Optane M.2 module in here and you could use it as your primary drive, okay? So you could use it to store your windows on, it's where you boot from, it's your main system drive. That's one way you can use Optane and that would be a super fast and responsive system. That'll be friggin' awesome. The second way you can use Optane in this laptop is this will boost the speed of this. This is an old mechanical hard drive and it is dead slow. Whack a stick of Optane in there, it'll just boost the speed of this. It'll feel like an SSD. It'll have that responsiveness. Sometimes you'll get a cache miss, which means, you know, something's not cached on this drive there and it will be slow. But once you open it once, it'll cache in here. And then the next time you open it, it'll be super fast. Now you know how slow hard drives are. This thing will just boost that up to feel like an SSD. And in that case, and this could be in a desktop PC as well, it is so cost effective because this could be a couple of terabytes Add, you know, uh, inexpensive, you know, $50, $70, whatever, Optane drive, and then this is like having a two terabyte SSD. It feels like that. So you sort of get the best of both worlds. You get the responsiveness of SSD, but you get the capacity of a hard drive. Then the last way you can use Optane in the laptop is this will supplement your memory, okay? And they actually sell it sort of misleadingly as RAM. It's not really RAM, but it just supplements the RAM. So, you know, app RAM can go in here, compressed RAM can go in here. You know, the active RAM will have to still go in there, but it can supplement the RAM. And a lot of manufacturers are saying like, say for example, this has a four gigabyte stick there. You can see there, it's a four gigabyte stick. And this is a uh, 16 gigabyte Optane drive. They will sell that as a 20 gigabyte system, a system having 20 gigabytes RAM. Now it's not really, 
you got four gigabytes RAM plus 16 of Optane, but the low latency and responsiveness of Optane allows it to be used as a supplement for this RAM. And no, nothing can really replace RAM, but this is gonna be much better than, you know, if you've got four gigabytes of RAM, you're running out of RAM and you're writing to your hard disk, this is gonna help a lot more than that would. So although this will never replace RAM, it's not as fast as RAM, but it still shares some of the attributes of RAM. Very low latency, super quick, super responsive. So having Optane to supplement your RAM is really gonna help speed up your system if you're RAM limited. It's gonna be better than writing to your hard disk because this has lower latency. So it's not quite as fast as RAM, but you know, it's the closest thing we have to RAM. So it can really help you. If you can't afford RAM, you just buy one of these inexpensive Optane sticks. It'll boost your RAM, boost the speed of your hard drive here, or just have it as a super number one primary drive, which will be friggin' awesome. I would love to have Optane in everything. Uh, yeah. Also, you may see a lot of laptops that say i5, i7, i9 plus. And what the plus means is it's Optane capable. That means a laptop can use Optane to do all these things. Boost the RAM, boost the hard drive, and be used as a primary drive. So, there you go. Optane explained. I hope that's easy for you. It is the best stuff you can get. Um, but please, come down in price. Come on. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.